Mr. Biden's youngest son has been the subject of congressional and media investigations for work he did in China and Ukraine while his father was vice president. But no probe has found evidence of wrongdoing. In his statement Tuesday, Mr. Biden said he is deeply proud of his son, who has fought through difficult challenges, including the vicious personal attacks of recent months, only to emerge stronger. The announcement of the investigation came on the day the president-elect announced his pick for defense secretary, retired Army General Lloyd Austin, who would be the first black man to lead the Pentagon. Austin says he understands concerns from lawmakers, including several Democrats, who say he hasn't been out of the Army long enough and have reservations about granting him a waiver to serve. I recognize that being a member of the president's cabinet requires a different perspective and unique responsibilities from a career in uniform. And I intend to keep this at the forefront of my mind. While Mr. Biden is preparing for his administration, President Trump is focusing on overturning the election. The president joined a lawsuit brought to the Supreme Court by the Attorney General of Texas that is seeking to invalidate ballots from four battleground states won by President-elect Biden. Seventeen Republican attorneys general joined the lawsuit. At a Hanukkah party at the White House, President Trump praised the new legal strategy. I want to thank Texas for starting with it. They read the papers, and the papers were so compelling that everybody's just joining. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware.